What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be doing the OptiSpark water pump and the front crank seal on our 1994 Cadillac Brougham. All right, we're going to go over a quick rundown of what we got to fix up the limo's ignition system. So the first thing we got, we went to Sac City Corvette and we picked up a brand new shiny OptiSpark distributor system. Oh, it came with a Nice harness. And this is the OptiSpark. This is a pin drive OptiSpark. There's also a spline drive, but I think all the 94s and up are pin drive like this one. Went to Rock Auto for the next few parts that we bought. Yeah. The big unveil. Oh, we got some gaskets in here. Yeah, Damn, that's clean. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is a thermostat seal, which I think we'll probably need. We're taking the water pump off, which has the thermostat on top. Brand new Continental belt. This is the front crankshaft seal. And then you need some gaskets that go in the timing cover. There's a water pump seal, and there's also an OptiSpark shaft seal. And this kit should have both of them in there as well as the water pump gaskets. Now this one's got some mass to it here. <gasps> oh, dude. No yes. way. I love 944 it. and a Ferrari. <laughs> You're telling me they sell Ferrari parts on Rock Auto. I'm calling cat. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle. The GMB water pump. Is GMB a good brand? Stay tuned. We'll find out. <laughs> That's a big girl That's a right there. Unit. That's where the thermostat goes. And look. Oh, it actually did come with a gasket, but it never hurts to have more gaskets. That's all it came with. That's why we bought the extra gaskets. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. We're gonna drain the coolant first. So we loosen the cap right there on the reservoir, and we're gonna pop this drain at the bottom of the radiator over here. And then we're also going to take the intake off as well. Oh, that looks really good. She might have a little splurge in her, dude. Oh, oh God. God. Good thing we're replacing the water pump. Yeah, you know what we can do, honestly? Oh. Yeah, here, I'll hold this. That's vile, bro. You know what we can do, Gabe? So now we're gonna take off the serpentine belt. So you got your pulley here. You wanna rotate this clockwise. And that'll release tension from your belt and you can slip it off. Next, we're gonna take off these heater core hoses here. We're lubricating our AC compressor. Yes, that's a critical step. If you miss this step, your engine will blow up. Yep. Hit it with your purse harder. Woo! The crack, dude. That was a good crack. It's probably that bolt hole just intersects a, a water jacket in the block. But. Yes. Mmm. That was a good crack. There we go. If we break it, we're gonna break it on film. Oh, I got it. Let's take a look at it. Mmm. She's looking good. So we got another 14 back here. on a stud. Fuck. No! <laughs> We're gonna take off this EGR pump or secondary air unit, whatever it is, I don't know. Maybe we won't put it back on because emissions are lame. FBI, open up! 
and uh, we just need to take out these two 10 millimeter bolts and then we've got a bracket behind it that we're going to need to take off to free up the water pump. Oh yeah, she's free. Awesome. Okay, so that's the pump and then we've got a bracket behind it which appears to be held on with at least one bolt. So there's one more bolt that was behind these guys, as you can see, that bolt there. It's at the very bottom, make sure to get that one out. So on the back of this bracket, there's this 10 millimeter bolt right here, and that holds one of the EGR pipes on there. Make sure to take that off as well. A quick video of the stud here. The stud. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. That <laughs> no one was on there, bro. This connector is out of the way. Just put a hole in the radiator. That will help. If you're not replacing your Opti, probably don't do that. Okay. So, we unhooked all the, the spark plug wires and also the coil wire on top. And then we got the harmonic balancer off. And now, pulling this guy. So now we're taking off the 10 millimeter bolts around the OptiSpark. One more bolt at the bottom. Get down in here to show the crowd. All right, show the one that you pulled out. Okay, we got one on the bottom right here, one at the top, this one. There is not one over there. That was a timing cover bolt. Don't take that out. We make no mistakes, we're YouTubers. So if you look, this is why the OptiSpark fails, is because this seal behind here, which you should replace, goes bad and then it just starts leaking oil into the OptiSpark. As you can see, it's just covered in, in oil right now. So that ruins all the optical sensor stuff that's going on inside there. All right, in order to get the crankshaft hub off, you're gonna to wanna to get this tool here. You can rent this from AutoZone or O'Reilly's, and this is the number you're gonna look for. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to use some brake clean and some scotch bright to clean up the mating surface. Alright, so now it's time to install your seal. So we found this uh, little guy out of my ball joint set and it fits perfectly. So we're just going to use this to basically fit over that and we're going to use the mallet to hammer it in. Uh, kind of hit all the sides around so it goes in flush. Uh, there we go. That's how it's done, kids. Okay, there's also an O-ring on here that we'll just take a razor blade and cut that off. Get on there, there we go.
All right, so we cleaned up the thermostat housing, cleaned up the thermostat, and we got a new seal for it here. So now it's time to install it. Okay, so we're gonna be putting on this small O-ring first, which goes onto a groove on the water pump drive shaft here. And then after we get the O-ring on, we're gonna put the actual seal over the top. Now they make installation tools for this, but we're gonna have to figure out something with the socket just to make sure that these lips are not getting folded over when we're installing it. Okay, so here we are. I did some reading online. So we don't have the special tool that you can buy that's machined. So what we were thinking is, I read something about getting a Sharpie or an Expo marker, and maybe we can cut the tip off of it and then slide it over the input shaft. But at the same time, we're keeping the seal alignment in the correct orientation, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna hack the end of this thing off, slide it over the shaft, and then in theory, we should be able to just perfectly slide this onto the shaft. So now we're gonna cover the crank hub with this and we're gonna hit it with this just to get it seated in there a little bit and then we can put the bolt on. All right, we got the hub all finished up and tight. So now it's time to put the OptiSpark on. Okay, so now we're gonna put the OptiSpark back on. So this is the pin drive type, which is 94 and up. And so basically we're gonna put this slot aligned with the pin on the camshaft right there. Supposedly it can only go on one way, so we're just gonna send it. You could add a little lubrication to the seal right there, help it pop in, make, our, make sure our slots are lined up there. And it should just pop on without much force there. That felt good. Yep. Okay, so we've got two hoses that vent the OptiSpark on this particular year. So this is the first hose which goes on the front which goes to the intake boot up top and then this is the second hose which has a check valve in it. And this one is smaller in diameter and it will go up there in the back which you won't be able to see but trust me it's there. You'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we made a quick trip to the auto parts store. Even though we thought our MSD plug wires were good, they aren't good. So we went to the auto parts store and now we've got new plug wires. We'll slap them on, try to get this thing running before the sun goes down. Let's get to it. All right, so here's the water pump. You wanna put your gaskets on here and here. Uh, I would leave these bottom two bolts out because these are going to require RTV because the bolt goes through to the water jacket. You wanna make sure that you do not have any leaks coming from these guys. Also, there's this, uh, there's this adapter here. So you're just gonna slide it over this spline here and then you can tighten up your bolts. to apply RTV to the bottom bolts and install them. All right, so we've got this hose on, this hose here, and this hose down here. You're just gonna need to get your hose clamps, tighten them all up, and then put this hose on and get your clamp on. All right, so now you're just gonna put your air pump on to your bracket over there.
Now install your air intake piping and don't forget to plug back in your sensor and your vacuum line. Now install your harmonic balancer and throw in the three bolts. All right, now we're about to install our new belt. Make sure you get this part number. So now you're gonna to wanna to follow this diagram to install your belt. All right, now get some distilled water and fill up your coolant reservoir. We're not worried about what we put in it because we're gonna flush it all back out anyways to clean out the system. And that's how you replace the water pump, OptiSpark, main seal, and serpentine belt on a 1994 Cadillac Fleetwood. I hope this video was helpful, and if you enjoyed the video, it would help us out a lot if you'd subscribe to our growing channel, and we'll see you guys next week.